Hello and welcome to Oni Sai No Fi. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, in this video, I'll be talking about Anfin's experiment about protein folding. So, let's get started. In 1950, there was a scientist named Christian Anfinson who conducted a series of experiments wherein he proved that the native 3D structure of the protein is determined by, the, by its amino acid composition or amino acid sequence. So he used certain agents in these experiments to prove his hypothesis. So first agent was urea. Urea is known as a denaturant which disrupts the non-covalent interactions. Now these non-covalent interactions include hydrogens bond, hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds, etc. Next agent was beta mercaptoethanol. Now this is known as a reducing agent which reduces the disulfide bonds present. Basically adds the hydrogen in the SS double bond. Next is next and the most important is the protein ribonuclease A. Now what it does is it cleaves the RNA molecules in the cells. So this ribonuclease contains 124 amino acids and in the tertiary structure has a total of 4 disulfide bonds present. This was all about the compounds or molecules that he used. Now let's go straight away to the experiments. Where in the first experiment he did was he took this ribonuclease A and what he did was he disrupted the 3D structure of this particular protein using excess of beta mercaptoethanol and 8 molar urea. As we know, urea is a denaturant. It will disrupt all the hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds present in this molecule. Whereas excess beta mercaptoethanol will disrupt these disulfide bonds. Now these green colored bonds represent disulfide bonds in this ribonuclease. So he did was he disrupted this whole 3D structure of the protein. Now what he did was he removed this excess beta mercaptoethanol as well as 8, U 8 molar urea simultaneously from the medium using a technique called as dialysis using semi-permeable membrane. He removed both these agents simultaneously and what he saw was that this structure, denatured structure, was reformed back into its native form. So the result, first in the first case when excess of beta mercaptoethanol or urea was exposed to this protein structure, it completely denatured. Second, when these substances were removed simultaneously from the medium, the protein refolded back into its original biologically active form. So in the second experiment what he did was he took this denatured protein and then he removed beta mercaptoethanol first. So what happened is urea remained as it is in the medium. He removed the beta mercaptoethanol that is he removed the reducing conditions from the mixture. Now what he saw was the protein refolded back but this was a scrambled form as I mentioned and not biologically active. Now, why this, Why did this happen? First of all, because due to the presence of oxygen in the air, so these disulfide bonds again oxidized and formed these structures. Now, of course, this is not the biologically active form, but disulfide bonds were formed. The non-covalent bonds could not form because of the presence of urea. So this was what he observed in the second set of experiment. Now in the third set of experiment what he saw was he added trace amount of beta mercaptor ethanol again and he removed the urea fully that is using dialysis and semi-permeable membrane. He removed the urea back uh, fully and then added trace amount of beta mercaptor ethanol. So what happened here is there is no denaturing conditions. The biologically active native structure eventually reformed. Now this was because little amount of beta mercaptoethanol catalyzes the breaking of the incorrect disulfide bonds. So this broke and because urea is removed so there is no denaturing conditions. All the hydrogen and the non-ionic bonds that is can form correctly. And this determines where the disulfide bonds will be present. And therefore, the enzyme returns to its native form because it is thermodynamically the most stable and the lowest in the energy form. So this is how Anfinson proved that 
the native structure was determined by the primary sequence of amino acids therefore contributes to the ionic and covalent bonds and therefore the di disulfide bonds are formed so this was all about anfensis experiment if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe